For centuries, our perception of the world has been skewed by misleading maps. The most common classroom maps are based on the Mercator projection, designed in the 16th century. The primary purpose of the Mercator projection was to create a navigational tool where compass bearings could be represented as straight lines, making it easier for European sailors to navigate the seas during their age of world exploration, which was relatively recent compared to Africans, Arabs, and Asians. The point of contention is that this projection significantly distorts the accurate scale of land masses, especially as they move away from the equator. One of the most glaring misrepresentations is the size of Africa. On these maps, countries like Greenland, Russia, and Canada are exaggerated in size, appearing similar to or even larger than Africa, when in reality, Africa's land mass is far greater. The bare truth is that the Mercator projection is biased towards the West, making continents like Europe and North America appear larger than they are, thereby positioning them as the center of the world. This map, accordingly, diminishes the size of continents like Africa and South America, which predominantly consist of brown and black populations, suggesting a racial bias in how the world is presented. This distortion has perpetuated a Eurocentric worldview, minimizing the prominence and significance of Africa in global geography. Different map projections have been attempted to address these distortions, although they all have their challenges. I am neither a mathematician nor a cartographer, so I will not try to make sense of these alternate map projections. See the video description below if you would like to learn more about them. As a historian, I seek to interrogate the implications of the Mercator projection. I will proceed to lay down my arguments. Whether deliberate or not, this distortion created by Mercator isn't just a geographical oversight. It's a catalyst for historical underrepresentation. The accurate scale of Africa is not just about land mass, it's about recognizing the continent's profound historical and cultural significance. Ancient African civilizations have been overshadowed, from the majestic pyramids of Egypt to the scholarly realms of Mali and Songhai. The minimized depiction of Africa on maps inadvertently perpetuates a Eurocentric view of history, dimming the luminous contributions of black cultures and individuals to civilization. The ripple effects of this cartographic diminishment echo in educational corridors worldwide. Students presented with these skewed maps may grow up underestimating Africa's role in global history, thus fostering a narrowed perspective on black history. Beyond the classroom, the perceived smaller Africa has tangible global implications. Economically, it could translate into underestimating the continent's resource richness and potential. Politically, it might skew international relations with African nations not seen as equitable players. The result? A skewed global economic and political narrative. The most profound impact lies in the collective psyche. This cartographic diminishment can erode the self-perception and identity of people of African descent, fueling a narrative of insignificance. It's not just a map. It's a mirror reflecting how the world perceives Africa and its diaspora, often reinforcing stereotypes and biases. The Mercator map's portrayal of a minimized Africa is more than a geographical error. It's a historical and cultural blind spot. It's a call for cartographic justice, urging the adoption of more accurate maps to reshape global perspectives and narratives. Recognizing the power of maps is the first step in rewriting a more inclusive and equitable chapter in world history, where Africa's true stature and significance are acknowledged and celebrated. How might your racial or ethnic identity influence your view of the debate over map projections? Has your worldview been shaped by how your region of origin has been portrayed on this ubiquitous map? Share your comments.